let's talk about the sum of products. The sum of products. Let's say we have three inputs, A, B, and C. And this is our output, D. So let's assign them values. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And this one will be 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. And this will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. And let's cut it here. Very good. So we have A, B, C inputs and a D output. And our outputs are all alike except for one. One, 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 and a zero. I want to make a Boolean expression that represents this truth table. So I'll choose the ones. And I'll make a sum of products. A what? A sum of products expression that will represent this truth table. Well, here's a one. What makes a one? Well, not A. Not A for certain. And not B. And not C. I'm going to or that with the next row, which is, well, again, not A, not B, uh, but C. Not A, not B, but definitely C. It's a bit too close there. There we go. So what makes a 1? This guy. So I don't not the C. Ord with, what else? Well, row 3. Not A, B, not C. Again, not A, B, not C. All the zeros are getting knotted. Last one. Not A, and then B, C. So I'm ordering that with not A, and then B, C. Wow. Okay, that's a big expression. And all these guys are ended horizontally, but they are ordered vertically. And visually speaking, that is. All right. Now, that's all well and good. But that's pretty big. And if I have a big table, this can get awful boring, awful tedious. So what to do, what to do? We could make an expression out of this fellow here, this output, this line, this zero output. Just a one line, which is the equivalent of all the others. Okay, how would I do that? Well, this is a zero, so it's going to get uh, marked differently. It's going to get marked differently. How differently? It's going to be marked oppositely to how we marked the others. All right, well, this was up here. This was uh, the zeros all got knotted, so there was not A, not B, not C. But here, the ones will get knotted. It's just the opposite. Okay, so let's look at this row here. This is a one, so this is going to get knotted. This is not A. This is B. This is C. What gives us? Uh, what gives me a zero? C, B, but not A. Definitely not A, which is a one. Ah, and that is going to equal my D output. And that's how simple this is. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, thank you so much for listening. This is George Bull. Bye-bye now.